when I brought this and the thing that I thing that I like about this is what I thought about when I visualized before I actually put it together I couldn't wait to put it together is the water is filling up this pot and then it starts overflowing but what I visualized was well wait a minute let me put my reducing elbow right here just thinking about it logically then the water once it overflows it starts filling up this section right here because of the reducing elbow right here and it's going to start filling up this section before it overflows from this section purging the air out of this section then it starts overflowing and then because I got a bend in a pipe here it slows it down just a little bit which it continues to fill up this section purge more air out then it comes over and you know continues to fill up here as it's pushing the water that way before it eventually starts overflowing now I've purged almost all the air out before it even starts overflowing making my siphon fire more quickly and you could cant this up slightly and it may give better results uh, but if you go too much then it, you know it's not going to work probably at all but uh, you know there's still just a little bit of tweaks you can make you can just try canting it just slightly upwards I, I, I'm right now I've got it basically even and uh, it's working great and uh, so you could still you know combine this with the older ABS design this is the same one like I said I just twisted it a few times and then it's the same exact design and you could go down over and back down uh, sort of centering up uh, on the drain I don't know if that would cause it to kick in more quickly or if it may interfere with the brake uh, you know, so I haven't tried that. I tried it with the other one, and, and it didn't work uh, because, like I said, I had the re uh, reducing elbow in the wrong position. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it. That works. If you're building ABS siphon, that's the refined siphon. That's what I am going to do from now on, and I recommend that you do. And the, you're making your above bed siphon. I hadn't really thought of doing it that way because I thought, you know, there wouldn't be room to fit it in the four inch drain, but it still fits in the four inch drain. And you can do the others and still get them in a six inch drain. Uh, you know, or a four inch drain, you know, six inch if you're building the bigger siphons. So, good luck. This is, this is, uh, I, I'm actually blown away by this, the results from this one. I got it to work when everything else was, uh, even my ABS siphons in this small beds here were giving me some problems from time to time. They still work, they would just, like I said, they would work and then they would, you know, get lazy on me. If I'd leave them alone, I'd come back and they'd be working. Uh, whereas the bell siphons were just, I was having no luck whatsoever with them. They'd work one time, I couldn't get them to work twice in a row. Uh, this is just fantastic right here so this is better than any of the other tweaks I've uh, come up with today it's just now starting to pour out you see it's the one on this side not the one on the other side the one on this side is the one on both ends and the one on the other side this this drain is for the one on both ends that's for the ones in the middle it's just started pouring overflowing and that one has not started yet so it's just this one and it's just started you can see it going down now it's going down so it's pretty quick uh, and now it's making its way over there I'm getting a, a pretty decent firing time on it uh, I could tweak and get it down a little bit I don't know and I don't know that I need to it's um, it's just consistently firing every time and I like to watch uh, my siphons when I come up when I put in a siphon because I've noticed you know sometimes I like when I had the bell siphons they'd work for a while and they just quit 
then I'd change something to get them to work in, then they'd quit. You know, they wouldn't fire or they would, uh, wouldn't break uh, siphon. And I'm getting really great drain out of it too, because uh, it's just a one inch to a half inch. So I'm getting really good drain out of a small pipe, just a one inch to one half inch pipe. And you can hear it trying to break. And this is the strong point of the ABS siphon. It breaks well. It's such a short siphon. And there it can break. And uh, here's the siphon design. It's the same ABS siphon, just with a few twists, literally. There's There's my ABS siphon right there. I had had some problems with this one, and the reason I had, I was using some of these. Uh, uh, let me see if I can find one. Some of these crazy bulk kits. I don't have one handy, but you know it's kind of like where it. it it's like this, and then you got the, the female that sits on top, and then the male on the bottom, and you, you screw it together for a bulkhead. So you got this, you know, like an inch or so standing up on top, which limits my space to develop. I was using a cheap bulkhead, limits my space to develop, you know, to, to design my siphon on the top of these beds because they're only eight inches tall. And then I've got to have room you know, on top for, uh, you know, you don't want the water to come up too high, which is still coming up fairly high. I could shorten this a little bit. Uh, and uh, then I've got that bulkhead sticking up, so I don't have much room at all for a siphon. And so uh, these, I had to really miniaturize these uh, big time and then get them to fit in a four inch drain. So these were really a challenge for me, which got me to start on the ABS siphon because I was uh, trying to figure out how to get these things to work. <laughs> I couldn't get them to work with the bell siphons they were working to start with, and then they quit, 